fibroids will be the topic of this discussion. But before I start, I would like to dedicate this discussion to my grandfather, Gerald Lewis. He was a healer. Now, black women have the highest incidence of fibroid. A fibroid is an abnormal growth or a tumor growing in the uterus. It can cause a lot of complications like anemia, obstruction of the colon, so it can cause constipation. Essentially, it's robbing the body of its energy because you have blood vessels in the fibroid, so that take a lot of nutrients, a lot of energy out of the body. So it can, it, it, it really represents the uh, imbalance. There's imbalance in the body, in the whole functioning of the body. And it only presents as a fibroid. Now, there are things that cause this abnormal growth. One of the most important thing is a hormone that causes these cells to grow at a extra fast rate and this hormone is estrogen and at this point I'd like to tell you how estrogen gets in the body or how it's produced in the body. The ovaries produce estrogen, the adrenal gland also produce estrogen, adrenal gland sits on top of the kidney. Body fat produce estrogen and you also get estrogen from the municipal water. Actually this estrogen you get from the top water is in the form of heavy metal and other toxins. So when people cook with bottled, um, cook with tap water, they're actually taking in estrogen. So four sources of estrogen you're taking into your body and what it does to the woman it put her in a estrogen dominant state and when you're in an estrogen dominant state you're vulnerable to a lot of things uh, different type of cancers and so on but right now this is a benign form of tumor that is growing in your uterus and it really represents imbalance and it the, the fact that the tumor is growing it means several other things it means that your immune system is down it means that you are insulin resistant it means that you have circulatory problem it means that you have occult infections all over the body and they act as a source as a reservoir to feed into the tumor that's growing as a fibroid and, and one of the biggest one of the most important source of this infection that infects these tumors is from the colon so it's important to address all of these issues that in the future you can halt the growth and you can shrink it so we're gonna we're gonna um, introduce a, a molecule that is if we utilize this molecule as a healing uh, mechanism then we can start to solve the problem and reduce the growth of of, of fibroids in black women. The, the molecule I'm talking about is melanin and melanin is produced in the pineal gland. The pineal gland is in, in between the eyes and it's a gland that produces a hormone melatonin during the time of sleep and melanin is also produced in the skin. We will tell you how melanin can help 
reduce the formation of these tumors. But first we must discuss how we're gonna avoid all this, these four forms of estrogen. Well, two other forms of estrogen, we can't really avoid them because it's, 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 it's produced from the ovaries and that's natural. And you have estrogen has good properties to make your skin smooth and um, it, it causes um, blood vessels to vasodilate so you don't get hypertensive. So it has its good. But in excess, it becomes harmful. Now, the, the, the water is the first case we're going to discuss. What you need to do is not to cook with this tap water, municipal water. It's filled with mercury, aluminum, lead, and other heavy metals, including other toxins. And when you cook with it and, or boil it, thinking that you're purifying it, you're actually stimulating the metals. And the metals become more aggressive and act as a pseudoestrogen, as a xenoestrogen, and it acts just like estrogen. And help precipitate the growth of these tumors. So you have to do your research and find a water filter will take out all of these kind of xenoestrogen. So that's left up to you. Um, the next area what we'll cover that you can deal with is the extra fat. And now this, this, this is a technical thing, weight loss. Now the fact that we're going to deal with weight loss, one of the one of the properties of the fatty fat cells, they call adipose tissue, they have the capacity to synthesize estrogen. Another hormone named insulin that causes diabetes. It has the, uh, it it its function is to stimulate cells to grow. So when a woman has a fibroid, it means a lot of things. It means that she is more than likely secreting too much insulin. And the insulin is a storage hormone. And between insulin and estrogen is what causes these tumors to grow to these massive size and become a complication. So Insulin means that there is an underlying condition going on. The person is insulin resistant. That's why their insulin is high. And is a high level of insulin that cause, that or help to cause the growth of these cells. So most time you find yourself having a tumor where it's just start to grow, know that you're heading towards becoming diabetic or having syndrome X, as they call it, which is uh, a group of disorder with hypertension, obesity, and um, high level of insulin. So those are different um, terms that they use to classify pre-diabetic people, syndrome X, insulin resistance, but you you really have to understand that it's not just an isolated thing. A fibroid is growing. It means a lot. It means your circulation, your heart is being overworked, your energy is being drained, you're becoming constipated. So the insulin also stops your body from burning up fat. So when you're in this state, most of the time you'll find that you are obese, especially around the trunk of your body. And they call it trunk obesity. And what is actually happening is that the fatty tissue is around all these organs and it causes a lot of complication. So avoiding taking in exogenous Insulin, not, sorry, exogenous estrogen, reducing the body fat, bringing down the insulin level is where we have to start in order to reduce these fibroids and prevent them from reoccurring causes. You can reduce them and they can grow back.
if you go back to the same lifestyle. But one, 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 one other, other thing we have to understand also, that a fibroid is a infection. A lot mixed organisms are there, viruses, fungus, and multiple bacteria are there. So we'll have to address this issue of how we're going to prevent the infection, carry on the insulin, and get rid of the extra estrogen.